Hi, I'm Lily, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you the buzzsaw. It's a really, really cool move to do, especially with fire. Now, the buzzsaw is actually one of those moves that people go absolutely nuts for when you're doing it on fire. It's not actually that tricky a move. Um, once you've got the hang of it, it's it's not like a super advanced move, but it is still the move that even the most advanced poyers, if they are performing for an audience, they will go into buzzsaw because crowds just go absolutely nuts for it. <coughs> I think because the fire comes up so close and it makes such a really, really cool small circle, it's just one of those moves that is a real crowd pleaser. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it in forwards and backwards. I'm going to show you how to get into it as well, which is really nice because you need to have your point shorter than you would normally. If you have them really long, you're going to be whacking yourself. So what you would be doing is before you go into the buzzsaw, if you're adding it to your flow, you would work out a way of sticking your hands out so that as you're spinning your poi, the chains or the rope section will start wrapping around until you get to the length that you're comfortable with doing buzzsaw and then you pinch and bring those fingers back in and you're able to continue spinning. So if I was about to do buzzsaw, I might do, let's see, so I might be doing backwards weave in buzzsaw, I might just do a couple of spins either side and as I stick my fingers out, it's going to bring the point in and then I'm going to pinch them when they are exactly the length that I want them. If I get them too short, I can just go the other way and they will come back out again. So basically you want to get yourself a slightly shorter poi in the move before going into this move. So the way you want to get this is you will be maybe doing a backwards, backwards spinning. I'm going to stick my fingers out until they are the right length. And I'm going to pinch them and they come back in again. They are now the right length. Now there's a way, the way I like to do it is I like to get them the right length before I go into the move. So I might do a couple of spins either side, stick my fingers out until they're the right length and then I've got them pinched. If I don't particularly want to go into backwards weave, I would just change direction. That's an easy way to get them the right length. What you can do if you're feeling a bit braver, if they're a bit longer, is as they swoop up, they're still long, you're going to move your body out the way, you're going to stick your fingers out and so as they come up, they're going to start wrapping around your hand until they get to the length that you want. Then you pinch, then you've got them ready. So that is slightly more of a scarier way of doing it because obviously you've got really super long pour. You're going to need to get your body out of the way. And as you bring them in, your fingers are just going to extend. They're, the poi are going to wrap around them and then you can pinch them when they're the right length and carry on with your buzzsaw. It's a really good move to do a little bit further on in your fire dance because the flames won't be as big so they're not going to be completely going up your nose as they come up in front of you and also it's a nice one to save because it's a real crowd pleaser as I said so you don't want to throw it out right at the beginning of your dance. So you have either got them shorter by sticking your fingers out and then gripping where you want them or you've got them shorter by being brave and swooping them up with your fingers out until they've got to the right length. Now you are going to get used to having them in and doing a rotation in a circle. So if you're doing it in forwards, it will be clonking up your chin. And then you practice the other hand. So it's inside, your arm is inside, and it's donking your chin as it comes up. Not quite. That's how I remember it's going in forwards. So they're going to be in here. This is where you're going to be doing your buzzsaw. And they are going to be one then the other. So you're beating that drum, boom, 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 boom. They're not chasing each other, they're just one after the other in really equal time and speed. You will find when you first start doing this move that one will want to go faster than the other. You need to try and keep your rhythm as you go into it. If you're out, get yourself into split time. One, two, one, two, one, two, either side. One, two, one, two, then you're gonna bring it in, now just practice doing them far away from each other. One, two, to get your timing right. Two, one, two, 
one, two, one, two. So as one is up, the other one should be down. Then you can bring your hands a bit closer together and you can almost touch your fingers in the middle. And that gives the nice circular illusion, especially when you've got fire, it makes a complete circle because you're going quite quickly with this one. And you can move this move as well. Move this move. It's a good move to flow with. You can do this on any level. You can do it up high, you could do it down low. Loads of people like to try and do the splits and then do a nice rolling buzzsaw. It's just one of those really nice moves to show off with and to create really nice designs with the fire. So just to run over it again, you've got split time. Two, one, two, one, two, bringing it in. So it's inside of you, it would be whacking your chin if your arms went enough distance away from your body. And then you're gonna bring your hands closer together and try and keep that rhythm so you're beating that drum. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And that's it, you can do it in either forwards or backwards. It's the same premise for both. You've got it in backwards. It takes a bit more practice in backwards, but once you've got that line working, you can bring them up close. And that's it in backwards because there is a really nice move that Nick Horsley, if you haven't seen any of his tutorials, look him up, he's super cool. He does from going from forwards into backwards weave, which is just really sweet. So check out that move. And you can also play about with it and you can try and turn it horizontal. This one is a really cute move to stick in the middle of a corkscrew as well. So it's a really nice way of going from straight plane, so you twist it, got one going above the other and then it's a really nice move you can put into corkscrew as well so as you've got the corkscrew going up like this put one in the middle and then go back into corkscrew one in the middle just gives it that extra extra bit of flavor extra bit of fun and then you can swoosh yourself back into forwards buzzsaw Lean back as far as your back will allow you. This is where yoga comes in useful. So this is a really nice move to flow with, to amaze your audience. But good luck with this. Let me know in the comment section down below how you got on, what worked for you, what didn't. If you need any help, let me know and hopefully I'll be able to help you out. But thank you so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you have got any value whatsoever from this video because it really helps us out. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.